Hi guys, welcome to Card Magic 365. Here's a great little card trick for two people. So you get a couple of people to help you. You give the cards to someone to shuffle, so they mix the cards up. You can even borrow the cards. You then say, we're gonna involve some money. Now this always makes people sit up and take notice, but the money is gonna be the change that you've got in your pockets. Uh, let's see what I've got in mine. Okay, I've got some coins there and some coins there. You get some coins and you give them to one of the spectators and you say, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn my back. I want you to kind of take some of those coins but save some for your friend. So what they do is they take a few coins, give some to their friend, and they hold on to the others. You then ask them to count how much money they've each got. Again, you have your back turned. So each spectator will count the value of what they've got. Now, in this situation, you can see we've got a five, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So we got 19 pence there in UK money. And the other person's got 5, 10, 12. So they have 12. So 19 and 12. Now you've got no idea what they've actually taken. They keep the coins in their pockets. You then say, you're going to deal with cards that they shuffled onto the table. You ask the first spectator to look for their card as you're dealing and count down to the number of coins that he's got. Now he's got 19, so he will remember the card in the 19th position. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And what you do, you deal because you've got no idea how much he's got in his pocket. And you deal most of the cards, you say at some point, have you got a card that you're thinking of? You have, okay. Let's just take these. And you turn to the other spectator and say, whatever number of coins you've got, remember the card in that position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And again, you carry on dealing. And then when you get bored, you say, have you got a card? You have. You put the cards back on top. You're then going to deal out some of the cards. I'm just going to separate the pack into a couple of piles. So at this point, both of you have thought of a card that'll be enough yep something like that we just separate them into two piles we then turn the cards over and you ask them what was their card and you say what was your card the seven of clubs and what was yours the ten of hearts watch what happens when i take these you shuffled the cards you cut the cards you took a random number of coins, you left the others for your friend. I've got no idea what number of coins you've got, I've got no idea that you was gonna pick particular cards. Yet, by the control of the force, you had the seven, you had the 10. So here is the secret to this particular trick. It's a very straightforward self-worker, so there's, there's no complications really that you've gotta worry about. Regular deck of cards, they can be shuffled. The only thing you need to provide are some coins. Now, use your own currency and make sure that you've got some small denomination coins because the more you've got, the better it is because then they can take a handful of those. And have these in both your pockets to begin with. Now, all you've got to ensure is that the total comes to 31. Now in the UK currency, if I was to add these up, they come to 31 pence. Okay, so that's what's gonna happen, 31. They can take any number of coins. So this one's got um, two, four, six, eight, 
10, 15, 16 there. And this person's got 10, 2, 4, 5, and 15. So 16 and 15 here. It doesn't matter, there's, there's no force here. They can have any number of coins. And just to prove it works, no matter what the number of coins they've got, this person's got four, and this one's got five, 10, 15, 20, two, four, six, seven, 27. So he's got 27, he's got four. So what you do, the cards can be shuffled, you then turn to one spectator and deal them face up. And you're gonna to deal towards roughly, you've got to deal at least 31 because that's what the, the number of coins comes to, 31. So you have to deal, right, as you're going through, so if we do this guy first, he's looking for the 20, uh, what did we say? 5, 10, 15, 20, 2, 4, 6, 7. The 27th card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So the Jack of Diamonds is what he's going to be thinking of. Now, don't count the cards because they'll be doing that themselves. But as you're dealing, just go past the halfway mark. As long as you go past the halfway mark, you know you've gone roughly about 30 cards. Once he said, yes, I've got my card, you grab these and you put these together and you turn to the second spectator and ask them to think of the card in the fourth position or whatever number of coins they've got. So you go one, two, three, four. There it is there. They're going to be thinking of the four of diamonds. You deal the cards, and remember, you've got no idea at this point if they've actually thought of their card, but once you've gone roughly past the halfway mark, once again, say, have you got your card in your head? Once they say they have, you can stop. You could deal the whole pack if you want. You then put these back on top. Now, all you've got to do is to deal 15 cards in a pile, you've got to reverse their order. So you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then put the rest of the pack here. Then you just turn them up in pairs. Now you can either do this what I did, which is ask each spectator what their card was, and as you turn them up, look at them yourself before you reveal. Or you may prefer to do it without asking them and say, watch, I've got no idea what your cards are, but something strange is gonna happen. We deal them in pairs. I want you to call out when you see your cards. And as you deal, as soon as either of them sees their card, they're gonna call out, stop. And as you deal the cards, they're both called stop because both cards have appeared at the same time, despite the cards being shuffled, mixed, and random numbered cards going there. See what you can do with this. It's a self-worker. They'll always turn up if you follow the, the instructions. But I think this with the coins is a good little effect.